Redshift. 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 Redshift is a fantastically important tool for astronomy. Basically, measuring a redshift to an object is what tells us the distance of that object in astronomy. And the distances that we're talking about are so vast that they're extremely hard to measure by any other way, but redshift actually turns out to be quite straightforward. Most explosions cause a flash of visible light. Scientists can split this light into its spectrum of colors. The further away an object is from Earth, the more red the light looks. The problem with gamma ray bursts is that they produce no visible light, so they cannot be red shifted. Even today, we cannot focus gamma rays. There are no lenses that will make an image in gamma rays. But then they realized that when the gamma rays blasted out, they would pass through all the gas and dust floating in space. This material would be heated up and would glow. This afterglow would be visible and might last for several days. If they could find it, it could be redshifted. If we could ever find just one glowing ember of a gamma ray burst, the mystery would be cracked open because we'd have a location and we could go look with the full planopy of radio telescopes and telescopes in space and big telescopes on the ground. The hunt was now on for the afterglow. On the 9th of May, 1997, a very bright gamma ray burst was picked up. All over the world, telescopes were being reprogrammed and refocused in the hope of catching this elusive afterglow. And then it happened. A faint flash of light was spotted. The astronomers analyzed the light. It wasn't at the blue end of the spectrum, suggesting the burst was from inside our galaxy. The light wasn't even green. The yellow would have indicated that the bursts were coming from far outside our galaxy, but it wasn't there either. This light was so far towards the red end of the spectrum that the burst could only have come from further away than anyone ever imagined. Redshifts proved conclusively beyond any doubt that they were coming from the edge of the universe and nowhere nearby. So the gamma ray bursts were coming from the other side of the universe, 10 billion light years away. No star could be big enough to produce that amount of energy. If you took all of the stars and all of the galaxies and all of the quasars and everything in the universe and put them all together at one point at the distance of a gamma ray burst, it would not be as bright as the gamma ray burst. It meant that they were being produced by explosions that didn't just test Einstein's law to its limits. They completely shattered it.